Hey guys, welcome to the Atlas Masterclass. Today we're making a chicken and egg or yakudon. So it's a stunning Japanese dish. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil some sushi rice. Um, that's gonna be the base of the dish. And then we're gonna cook some chicken with some egg as well. So it's almost like a soft poached omelet in a way. So we make a great little stock out of this. So this here is actually a dashi powder. So um, I'll put some links in the description of what this is and where you can buy more of it if you like it. And we're gonna mix that here with some Japanese soy, touch of sugar, and then also some water. So we make essentially a stock, which we're gonna poach the chicken, the white onion, and the egg in. So this dish here, let's get cooking. So to get cooking with this dish, we'll get first our Japanese sushi rice into our pan. So I've got some boiling water here, and I just sprinkle that straight in like so. I'm gonna cook that for exactly 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put a 10 minute timer on. So the sushi rice will eat really well, so it will sort of clump together and you get that just fabulous texture as you break through the sort of softness of the egg into the rice and it's just, it's a textured, you know, full textured dish and I really love this one. So now we're gonna make the sauce. So what we do is we get our water here, then we've got some of our dashi sort of flakes. So we go straight in with those and they'll dissolve. Our Japanese soy. And then we've got some sugar as well. So you can use a little bit of sugar. I think the thing that people love about some Japanese dishes is that they do have that beautiful sweetness. So if you can work with that, you know, developing that flavor, taste your sauce and go, oh, you know, if you want to add a touch more sugar, it really can bring the dishes up and give it a lovely flavor. And we just literally give that a whisk like so. And we're going to go straight in our pan. And now to our pan, we're gonna add in our onion. Then we're gonna add in our chicken. So with this dish, you don't really need too much chicken because you do have the protein from the egg as well. So if, with this, just feel free to sort of, you know, add it in. Because once you add that egg in, you get this stunning omelet. You'll see exactly what I mean. It really comes together nicely, this dish. The one trick with this is to get the uh, get it all cooked together really nicely and then we're going to separate it and you'll finish each omelette separately so you really can get that sort of, you essentially want to make it and slide it over the rice. So now it's come to the boil, so I'm just going to turn it down. And to me, Japanese food's all about cleanliness and, you know, clean flavours. So what we're going to do now is before we keep simmering it, we just want to skim the top of the stock to take some of this scum off. And whenever you're making a stock, you'll always find that you get these sort of floaties to the top and you just want to skim them off as you go. And it just helps just to create like a really pure flavor with what you're cooking. So take your time, you can use a spoon or a ladle is even better. And you just want to sort of keeping everything to the side and just any of those sort of fats and stuff. You might've noticed we didn't add any fat to this. So you'll just get the oil or any fats from the chicken coming to the top. Now I can see it's a nice clear liquid and we're back on to simmer for five more minutes before we add the Chinese broccoli. So now we add the Chinese broccoli to the pan. And we're going to cook that for about one to two minutes, just making sure the stem is cooked through. And then I'm going to also scramble some eggs, getting these ready to poach. And now we'll take the rice off, strain that, and then we're almost ready to serve. So now our Chinese broccoli is ready. So I take that straight out of the pan and just put it onto my chopping board. And our chicken's actually cooked through. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour all of it into a bowl. And then this is the trick with this dish. So one at a time, have the pan on. I'm gonna put half our mix into the pan with the liquid. And this is the poaching technique. So about half a liquid and half the chicken and onion. Mixing it around. And now I'm gonna pour in half the egg. So I've mixed that really nicely. Adding that in like so. And the trick is now is to not actually touch it. So I just let that set. You'll see it will firm up really nicely, poaching that egg, and then I'm gonna slide it straight on top of my rice. 
So in the meantime, I get my sushi rice into my bowl, just so I can make it look really nice. Use it as a mold. So this dish as well, you know, it's all about the sauce, cooking the egg nice and gently. Add that in like so. And then our, chicken, um, our oko yaki don is almost ready. So just moving it around. You'll see it's really starting to firm up. You'll be able to see the sauce all come together. It will slide really nicely out of the pan, straight onto the rice. Then we're gonna have our togarashi, our Chinese broccoli, and our spring onion to finish. So now our oyakadon is ready. So I've got my rice, and I just wanna slide it out of the pan, straight on top of the rice like so. Just looks really, really tasty. Like that. Nice piece of Chinese broccoli. Let's finish with some spring onion across the top. And then I've got my little Japanese spice mix here. Just that there, some really fun flavors. Something quite different as well, with Japanese dish with the Japanese soy in there. You've got all the spice mix on top, the rice of course. So once you eat that, it's a full meal with the chicken, the egg, and of course the Chinese broccoli.